Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. So recently I've started to come back and play Tarkov some more and I've been running my scav runs and there is a certain location that seems to be very very good for me which is over on shoreline and joining the wipe as late as I have which is basically six months after sorry six weeks after the wipe has dropped which was on June the 30th I find myself severely behind on ammunition, weapons, armor, and anything like that. So financially, I'm not doing so good. I don't actually have the flea market yet either because I'm only level 12. And I don't have anything that can kill these absolute giga chads that are slapping me all the time. But for me, this run on shoreline is from just the most best run that i can actually do it is all rng like every single run but there's a lot of people who are running resort at the moment mainly for the tasks but also for the high value loot which means there's going to be an awful lot of pvp kills now we didn't actually get that great of a spawn so what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly head up to resort grab the scavs gun and uh see what we can get so of course if you get lucky and you spawn next to resort this is going to be very useful for you and it's also based on your extracts as well so if you happen to spawn all the way down by town but you have one of the extracts up here at the resort that's perfect for you but let's say you actually have one of the extracts down at town and you actually have only the extracts down towards town or down by the pier this isn't actually going to be that good for you in your scav run so i'd actually recommend if you hit the town and you go check out my other videos showing you the loot route that should be taking the town but here we are at the resort we are on a live server and the first thing we're going to be doing is hitting up the east wing which is this building over here so we are purely going to be looking for if there's dead bodies around or if there's any sign of pvp because if there's sign of pvp here that means that someone would have killed someone and it also means that we can possibly get out with some great loot now of course don't forget you did spawn in later than the rest or, or later than well anyone else so the thing is when it comes to this kind of stuff the containers are going to show closed but they are actually looted so you're more looking for the ground loot more than anything so let's keep pushing down again keeping our eyes out for any smash glass I don't see any around here have a quick peek in here sometimes you can get like 100k you know the um the spanners and stuff that spawn inside of there and now we're heading upstairs looking to our right make sure you check this uh washing machine because you can get yourself a leddy there and then keep pushing down this door is locked how about this next one the next one's locked okay so from what i can see right here is whoever came to this during the live raid didn't actually have any of the good keys so i'm gonna try and speed through this as quickly as i can and try and aim and go hit the other wing so through seeing that this box isn't looted because this is one of the higher um one of the higher loot corridors you know because you've got the weapon boxes and then you've got these uh two weapon boxes and a medical box over there this is actually with these not looted that kind of actually means that no one's been through here so if this is the case I'm just going to have a quick look upstairs. So this could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. But in this case, so this room's unlocked. There's no consistency with this individual. So I'm guessing that they don't have um, a high amount of the keys. I don't see anything else unlocked down there. So that's a door right there that we're looking at. Okay, so let's not waste our time over on this side anymore. Let's go head over to where so you've also you you really do need to keep an eye out for rooms that unlocks and where players have been the, the more you do this the more you can get lucky that's a pretty good find right there i'm playing this have a quick look inside here sometimes you can get some decent stems underneath that book no gold spawns there okay cool so we can see good news the smash glass on the other side which then means that someone has had some sort of firefight down on the other wing let's have a quick look through here just to see if there's any like dead bodies of course if you want to loot everything you can do but for what i'm looking for specifically which is gear and loot i'm actually looking to see where the players have died 
or where the engagements were. There's no reason for someone to shoot for no reason. Um, does that make sense? I think so. There's, there's no reason for someone to shoot if there's nothing around. So there's a someone searching right next to us. Might be upstairs. But someone's looting something that we can just hear. Which then means that it could be a scav. Yeah, hello? Oh, it's a scav search and stuff. Okay. Oh, damn it. I didn't know scavs made the social sound. We still gotta watch out for upstairs though, because that audio could have went through the floor. Hello? No. Yo, are you scabby boy or are you you mean boy? No you shut up the queen, yeah? Oh brother. What? what happened here then? Oh, is this Sunny? What's up? Oh, I was just saying, I was, I was asking if it's Sunny. That's all. Did you get anything good? Uh, I just picked up some shit off of those bodies. Nothing great. Bunch of heels if you need some heels. Ah, oh, no, no, no. I'm Gucci, brother. I'm Gucci, my friend. Just having a good look around, you know. I'm wondering if they hid some shit. Well, these are two players, right? Is that Sunny? No, that's a player. Oh, they would have done. Yeah, two dead bodies. Hey, look at that. Uh, Mind if I has? Oh, you can have it, dude. My level 11 ass. Thanks, you, brother. So, as you can see right here, this guy has been super generous. Again, thank you, man. No problem, man. Um, yeah. So, he knew exactly what to do. You're actually going to be looking around for where they ditched their stuff. So, in this case... We got ourselves an RSAS, which is perfect for gunsmith part. Uh, uh, I can't remember which one that is. 12, I think. So, we're going to keep looking around. See if there's any more stuff. So, that's exactly what I was talking about. So, now we have this. We have armor. It is zeroed, obviously, because it's ditched. Which does mean that there could be more. But a lot of the time, that is literally just what there is. It's one engagement. We can have a quick look through to see if there's any more smash windows. So it looks like he ditched his stuff and then dipping. So you can see how quickly it was going through. And again, prime, prime example right there. Prime, prime example. Let's have a quick look down here. And then we're going to go head towards our extracts. Our extracts are extremely far away. So I do need to give myself plenty of time, which is ruined road, some vitally dead end and ruined house fence, which is all basically the um the opposite side of the map let's have a quick look in here for the high valuable stuff i mean now i've got a torch so i can actually turn it on Bit like this got some salt this guy's gonna get some salt after he's seen us take his stuff and that is basically what i do i check for all pvps check the hidden rooms you should always check the rooms around so in that case i'm not so sure why this individual uh ditched his stuff in an open room so the thing is both of those rooms can can be opened and that little cupboard where we actually found this um you know that can actually be opened as well in hence the case that we actually have the gun here in front of us but yeah, if, if you're going to ditch stuff inside resort, so you can take this the other way. If you're actually going to hide your stuff in resort, then there's a few locations inside of resort that you can ditch it where people can't actually grab it. One of the best things you can do is when you ditch your gun is actually to throw all the gun parts onto the ground on top of that. And then on our way out, we might as well hit a few stashes. So then we can finish off the loot route. And that's the best thing about this map. There's over 40 stashes on shoreline. So whether you're heading off in this direction towards the tunnel, which is what we're doing, or you're heading off over in that direction, there is a load of stashes. And if you'd like to see a map or a video regarding it, there will be a link in the iCard at the top right hand corner, as well as in the top link in the description. And as you can see, we just extracted and this is what we got. We got ourselves a fully modified RSAS with M80. You can see that I don't know half of the items what is on this. A full AKM, which is also really cool. A Gazelle K, which is perfect because we need it for a task later on. SSH helmet, uh, it's the best helmet in the game. 
and then yeah we just got some generic stuff so realistically whenever you're heading into this into the resort you're really there looking for if there are any players or anything along the lines of that to show any sign of life hey do you know a guy called piranha what's that do you know a guy on youtube called piranha nah Oh, mate, well, you're going to be in my video. You should Google Piranha for Tarkov. I'm going to catch you in a bit, right? Yeah, I'll check it out. Let's have a look. Starts with a V? Nah, Piranha, like the fish. Like oh, in the okay. Amazon. Cool, cool. Yeah, I'll check it out. All right, catch you in a bit, brother. 